All right, going for a walk before we do some hardcore cardio at the crib. Stop to get one of these. Yerba Mate. It's only 20 calories in this whole thing. 150 grams, milligrams of caffeine. I've always wanted to try it. Not very good. Oh, all right. We're on the stationary bike right now. Let's see if I can show y'all. Oh, the phone's on a mic stand right now. Or the phone's on a stand. Um, whew, okay, that was chaotic. We're gonna go for 45 minutes on the bike today. At least maybe an hour. We're just warming up right now. Just got back from that walk. So I just wanted to talk about yerba mate for a second. So yerba mate is a pretty popular tea uh, drink that's pretty high in caffeine. Uh, very popular in like South America. A lot of soccer players use it as well. Um, you'll see a lot of them with big jugs and it's almost like a grass it looks like and they pour, they have special special like little straws. Anyways, I won't get into it too much. Anyways, because of the uh, high caffeine content, um, but because it's a tea-based drink, it's a little bit cleaner of a source of caffeine than energy drinks and um, coffee. Uh, and I believe that uh, there's L-theanine in it as well, which L-theanine, I'm a big uh, fan of. I've, uh, I've used it in the past, specifically with coffee, cold brew. And what it does is it helps level out the caffeine. So with coffee, you often get like a spike and a crash uh, from the caffeine. But with tea, you'll get a little bit of a spike and a longer, but smaller, sustained amount of energy with very little crash. So that's why yerba mate is um, beneficial. So I've wanted to try for a long time. That's why I, I decided to pick up the, uh, you know, the that 20 calorie one. Some of those other bad, yep, yerba mates have 120, 150, 100 calories. So, I mean, I only paid two bucks for it. So I was like, kind of whatever. It's like, this is a great opportunity to try it. I've had a uh, yerba mate like brewed with the, with the fancy cup and the fancy straw, but uh, I wanted to try that drink to see how it is. I mean, I feel pretty good from it. Um, I feel awake. I was feeling pretty tired there. I, sh I shot a second part to a podcast and was sending a bunch of emails and I was feeling kind of drained, but I, I feel awake. I feel ready to do this cardio. And so uh, that did me well. So the caffeine from it has me feeling good. You know, I don't feel jittery or anything like that. I just feel very awake without being too awake. Um, so, I mean, it, it really seems like I'm, I've been feeling really good with tea lately. I know I still be drinking the cold brew, but it seems like I have one glass of cold brew in the morning. And then uh, I like to have some kind of caffeinated cold tea beverage in the afternoon. I've been uh, a, a big component of the green tea and just some, you know, other kind of diet tea drinks. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's just the fall weather, but I've really been in the mood for tea. And it seems like the tea has been very good on like my digestive system and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, I woke up feeling pretty lean. 
you know, we're on our last kind of 30 days of the uh, 29 days of OMAD one meal a day. We've been pushing hard with the cardio. Um, crazy workout last night. A big thing I also have been doing is uh, a lot of yoga, stretching and meditation. Uh, meditation specifically when I'm in the sauna. I've been feeling good. I've been hydrating really well, snake juice every day, getting the electric lights in first thing in the morning. And uh, yeah, feeling really, really good. I think we're gonna get pretty close to that 175 by the end of this. I woke up this morning feeling lean and ready to go. So yeah, after this we'll hit the sauna. I think we're already pretty close to like 11,000 steps. So we'll finish the day with 12, 13,000 steps, no problem. And then, uh, yeah, after this, we'll hit the sauna. And yeah, I've been really into the stretching, working on my weaker areas while I'm stretching. You know, I'm not just doing the stretches that are simple and feel good, but the stretches that I know I need. I don't know if it's the biking specifically, oh. but uh, I've really been noticing that my hips have been tight, so huge focus around the hips, the glutes, the lower backs, things like that. And anyways, my body has been feeling pretty good. Pretty sore from the workout yesterday, but uh, all in all, feeling pretty all right. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, dial in here, do some sprints on the bike here, now that I'm warmed up. And uh, yeah. I'm sure that my food will probably be the next thing. We'll love more success, y'all. All right, this is what we got for dinner. We got some longanisi here, about a thousand calories, 50 grams of protein. We're gonna have a protein shake here too, just to add in a little bit extra protein. We got some super lean steaks here and some broccoli. So I'm gonna smash two of these, all of this, some broccoli and a protein shake. We should be well in uh, about 150 grams of protein and probably still there's about a thousand calories in this um, we're still gonna be at about 2,000 calories in an easy thousand calorie deficit today hell yeah more love more success y'all I'm gonna crush this